So what is free thinking? Here's a thought. Every time somebody challenges a belief of yours or a statement of yours, any way they challenge it, they call you a piece of shit, they uh, joke about your uh, mental health or your intelligence, whatever it is, that's an opportunity to enrich your universe of thoughts. And every one of them should be picked up. Like, that's great. Even if they have no point to make, if you've got the time, their challenge is an opportunity for you to not just promote the good ideas you have, but also perfect and enrich them. And that's a great tool for free thinkers. But freedom means blah, 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 right? I can do anything. I'm going to take off my pants. And so you can be so free thinking that your brain falls out your head. So some things you have to stop questioning after a certain point. And one of them is whether there's a God. There is no God. But a second one is whether bigotry is good or bad. Bigotry is bad. So everything that falls under the category of bigotry, you can disregard and forget about. Racism is bad. Tattoo phobia, it's bigotry, it's bad. Sanism is bad. Crazy people have great points to make, and this is one of them, so I'm gonna make it again. Homophobia, without limits, any bigotry is bad. Within limits, if you control for all of the awfulness of bigotry, you can make legitimate points. I don't have anal sex with strangers, not because I'm homophobic, but because even if I, I don't know, like there's no way to end that. But you could say if you were, I don't know. I mean, things like bigotry are so complex where like you can't, you can't sum it up. It's kind of like, so God is not a complex idea. It just doesn't exist. But people that believe in God make it incredibly complex. They write scriptures and they, they posit notions and they make hells and heavens and uh, rules and sin and s saints. And so it's complex, but you always are right when you fight against it. And that's a trump card. That's why I don't care if Catboy Kami's crowd like owns me somehow, or if that looks like I'm, I'm careless. Fuck them. Racism is wrong. And the guy is actually being completely disregarding people's emotions in a specific way to maximize the efficacy of racism and to make the Holocaust deniers more powerful to make the George Floyd mockers more acceptable. And he's doing it with a hunky young body and an active old, a good mind, not old. He's young and handsome and smart, but that doesn't mean that he's good on racism. So blam, you know he's bad. It's acceptable to come to conclusions. So I'm gonna make this another Catboy Kami piece. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.